Hi, this is Lola Singer. Welcome to Shift, Gift, and Uplift with Lola Singer. And I am just going to be straightforward and honest with you guys right now. I'm crying. I just got back from an errand out. I left in a good mood. And by the time I came back, I was feeling very sad. Um, now, I'm an empath, and a lot of you are too. So I think what's happening is I'm connecting into the sense of confusion and loss and emptiness that the collective, the human collective is experiencing right now. So I do my best to keep my vibe high lately, but every once in a while, I just have to release it. So I guess what I wanted to let you know is it's okay to cry. It's part of the release so that you can shift and uplift. <laughs> and especially when we're super empaths and we're holding space for the collective. Uh, I don't know what happened today. I don't watch the news. As an empath, I cannot watch the news. It harms me. So I have a feeling there was a big shift in the collective today. And I am feeling the sense of loss. So I just want to let you know, everybody, that's okay. It's okay. It's okay to feel it. Just let it go. So I shed a few tears. I have seen some people and me even at times where I'm crying so hard. It's, you know, it's ugly crying. Um, <laughs> mucus is coming out of the nose. I'm swearing at my guides. You know, you're not down here doing this. I am. This isn't easy. And then it's over. It's released. It's gone. So it might seem kind of antithetical to think that, oh my goodness, crying you know, being angry, that can't be uplifting. But yes, it is. It is because you're releasing it. You're letting it go. Ask your guides who can take care of whatever this energy is to dispose of it what, in the best way possible for all involved. And you are done. You are done. Now you can get yourself back to center. So yes, crying is part of uplifting. It's part of the process. Release so something new can grow. Thank you. I might cry a little bit more later, but that's okay.